And for Formula One in Miami, it's race on. And we've got a good getaway for Perez. He chops across Alonso and he maintains the lead into turn one. Alonso trying that outside line. It won't work. Up to fourth place goes Pierre Gasly. Down a couple of positions goes Kevin Magnussen. So a big winner at the start was also George Russell. He is up a place. It's Perez with the lead. Signs on the charge. Max Verstappen down a place to 10th place on that hard compounded tyre. Didn't get the launch that he wanted. Trying to fight back against Esteban Ocon as they take it through the sweepers on lap one. Can Leclerc make the move into the braking zone of 17? Max Verstappen had a lot of momentum there. He's like, oh, wait, I've got the car. And through goes Charles Leclerc to improve upper place. Magnussen, as you would expect, keeping his foot in. But it's Leclerc with the momentum. It's Leclerc with the place. And Magnussen's going to try and fight back. Now we've got DRS enabled. Say goodbye to the Red Bull. That is absolutely outrageous. In another league when he used the DRS. And he goes past the Haas and the Ferrari. And that's on board, late lunge to the inside and finding a way by past George Russell. Max Verstappen moves up to fifth position. You saw it, driver's eye view. Look at this. I mean, he's so late on the brakes. The performance of that car at the moment is absolutely outstanding. There's no point for Gasly to fight Verstappen. He will know it, and it will be another pass in a few But You see, almost standing on the brakes, almost waving him by, eventually making the move. Gasly will focus on Russell behind, and he waited such a long time for Verstappen to get through, he's brought himself into a battle with George Russell here. Yeah, Gasly just should have given give that up. He, he tried to ride it around the outside. Russell to the inside, and Gasly opened the door for Verstappen and inadvertently let the Mercedes through. That's a move that's been a long time coming for Charles Leclerc to the inside of Magnussen. Magnussen relishing fighting the Ferrari, and he fights back to hold on to seventh, and Leclerc will be fuming with this. He's right there, but one car between them. You've got to imagine he's going to make pretty short work of Sainz. And here's the move. Sainz can't defend, even if he wanted to. And another place gained for Verstappen, who is treating this like the F1 game on the PlayStation. Set to easy. The World Championship leader up against the two-time world champion, highly regarded Fernando Alonso. There's the DRS, there's the move to the inside. There is second position for Max Verstappen, who is putting on a show for the Miami crowd. His Ferrari crew will welcome him, but that was both front wheels locked up for Sainz as he came in. Real disappointment for Ferrari and the Spanish driver fighting for the podium today. He's got a five-second time penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Max Verstappen is up into the lead of the race now because Perez makes his stop. He needs a clean stop out there and he needs to push on. That's exactly what he needed. A slow stop there could have left him in the gaggle with Hulkenberg and Hamilton, but that's 2.2. It is working amazingly for Red Bull in all departments this year. Let's go trackside once again with Carlos Sainz trying to fight his way through for a first podium of the season. Fernando Alonso has the slipstream, has the pass, and that is a slam dunk move for the two-time world champion. Getting past the Ferrari, the Aston improves up to fourth. But is this the moment, finally, for Charles Leclerc to use the superior performance of the Ferrari? He waits, he gets on the brakes late, and he finally takes the place. Through goes Charles Leclerc to 11th position, and he will try and fight his way through for better points later on. That was really interesting, wasn't it? It looked like as... Not <laughs> again! Not again! again. Magnussen's throwing it to the inside. Leclerc feels the need to open the door. There's no grip out there for Charles, and Magnussen does the up and under. Once again, he uses the DRS zone, and he powers back past the Ferrari. George Russell with the move on Carlos Sainz to the inside. And Russell has kept his head and picked his way back past the Ferrari. Russell will try and close down the gap on Fernando Alonso. Is he playing the tactical game here? Does he not want to give Magnussen the chance in the second DRS zone? I wonder whether Charles Leclerc has waited here. Lewis Hamilton makes his stop, and Charles Leclerc says, you're not doing the up and under this time. I'm getting to turn number one. I'm going through. Enough of this already. And the Ferrari goes on by. Great battle between these two in the race. Max Verstappen has spent 45 laps on this hard tire he's going to get rid of it and perez is on the left hand side of your picture it's a great stop when required 
and 3.1 seconds means that it's the medium tyre on the world champion's car as he tries to win from ninth on the grid. He will have to overtake his teammate on track, Sergio Perez, back into the lead. But look at the stint that Max Verstappen was able to put together. He's got medium tyres and he's got the latter stages of the race. The Bulls about to do battle again. This was all lined up with a superb stint on the hard tyre. Now, on the medium Pirelli rubber, we're watching Max Verstappen gain with every metre. His teammate ahead, his rival for the World Championship ahead. He will pull out of the slipstream. Max Verstappen on the attack. Defence offered for Perez. The ball's going wheel to wheel. Perez shows him the outside line, but there'll be better traction for Max Verstappen, who stands on the throttle. He'll get DRS again. We'll fight it to turn one. Can Perez offer a defensive line to the inside? He's got no other choice. The ball's wheel to wheel around the outside. Will it be the lead? It's close between the two of them. The crowd are roaring and Max Verstappen takes the lead of the Miami Grand Prix, having started ninth on the grid. He's passed his teammate. He's passed all of them. Charles Leclerc building up to 195 miles per hour. Frenchman puts it on the apex, locks up though and opens the door. And that is a position gained for Charles Leclerc. Monogast driver goes through and he is up to sixth place now. Now, instead of being able to focus on, on uh, picking up the slipstream from the Ferrari, as you mentioned, he's going to have his murderous fool of Lewis Hamilton, who I expect to be able to get the pass done. Will Hamilton be able to make the move immediately? He will. And he strikes against the Alpine up to seventh position for the driver who started this Grand Prix in 13th place. Here's another battle. Cars whip has been left by the Ferrari driver and cars whip taken by the Mercedes driver of Lewis Hamilton, who hammers through up to sixth position. Outstanding performance for the reigning world champion. Max Verstappen comes out of the final corners. Max Verstappen wins the Miami Grand Prix with a masterclass of performance. Ninth on the grid to the top step of the podium. Another Red Bull, 1-2, thanks to Sergio Perez, who had no answer to his teammate, but he will fight back another day. And Fernando Alonso in third place. It's been a week-long celebration for Miami and for Formula One. On the racetrack, it was a celebration of Max Verstappen's driving prowess. Ninth to first, picking cars off at will and then going in a straight fight against his teammate. They went wheel to wheel, but in the end, it was Max Verstappen's day.